surreal was it stepping back on that stage after being away for so long? Completely surreal. Like yeah. there's no way to even articulate. Like I knew it would be odd and, um, but it was so emotional and so big and so beyond. Cause I, I think also because when's the last time you've ever gotten back to a job that you started 18 years ago that you left 10 years. You know what I'm saying? You're like, there's yeah. no infrastructure, like there's no construct for it. Because even like when, if you say, oh, it's like kind of like going home, you know, like to your parents and you're like, wait, this is my room. Okay, yeah, that's right. I have a, a, an airplane bed. <laughs> Who do you think it is? Definitely someone big. I'm Dr. Addison Montgomery. And you must be the group that's been screwing up the program. I was living for the promo where it shows you going to the interns and introducing yourself and saying, uh, you must be the group that's been screwing up the program. And it was a nod to when you first met Meredith, right? And you said- Totally. You know, oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Addison Shepard. Shepard? And you must be the woman who's been screwing my husband. It was funny when we first did that in the Zoom table read too, it was very fun. I was like, okay, this is my first end. This is awesome. It's such a, yeah, the total wink and nod, total kitsch moment. Yeah, did you think that was kind of the perfect way to reintroduce you to? to I everybody? did, but I was so worried about it. I was very nervous about, like, it was odd. I was, I said to um, Krista and I think, and, and you know, the delightful, amazingly talented Chandra Wilson, who plays Bailey, who also directs a lot of the episodes now. She directed the episode. So it was like old homeschool week. It was just great. Um, and I felt in such great hands, but I said to her, you know, it's so weird how you immediately become an actress again, where you're like, wait, does my hair look okay? Is my, <laughs> did I do it okay? You just become this quivering, shivering, insecure person. So in that moment, you just have to like land it. And I'm like, oh, I hope it worked. So, yeah. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. But You're like the benefer of TV dramas. You went back after 18 <laughs> years. I mean, what I love is that. happening here? Um, but, but really, because you left after season three, you hadn't yeah. done like a guest appearance since 2012. So ultimately, what made you say, okay, yeah, this time? Well, it's, first of all, we've been talking about it for a while, like, you know, coming back and just having a little visit. And um, it's such an iconic show. It was such an important show for me in my, my life, my career. So Krista Vernoff and I had been talking and trying to find a time where it was the right time for Grays and storylines and scheduling and all of that. And I um, thought, you know what? This is the right time. And also the story, the, the writing is so great. And I, I you know, I mentioned this um, before, but I, Jamie Dembo, who's a longtime friend of mine, wrote this first episode that I appear in. And it was so great. The writing is so good. It's so classic, like I'd say vintage grays. It's that, you know, fine line and, of making you laugh and cry, I think, yeah. hopefully. And also for the fans, I think in every interview I've ever done in the last 18 or 10 years, or whatever, is like, would you ever go back? Yeah. And so guess what? Yes is the answer. I'm doing <laughs> it. I did it. I think people are gonna really love it. I mean, I have gotten really positive feedback from a few people behind the scenes who've seen the episode and, you know, are really excited, so. Oh, we are all here for Addison's return, honey. It, just seeing you back, <laughs> is love on a plate like it does not even matter did it take you a minute to get back like with the jargon and all of that or was it like riding a bike did you just jump right back in? um no the medical medical stuff is always like oh god i to open up that part of my brain again and start jamming it in um yeah. and then then it clicked then it clicked um particularly by the second episode i really got um because there's more of this just that classic scene writing of big scenes too but this was so well written. The, the medical medical is always like, okay, what? Hey, what? I gotta like, yeah, all these um, different syllables and vowels put together that I really don't know what they are, but I gotta look like I'm an expert. Sure. So that took a, um, a minute, but you know, they're all really patient. And uh, nurse Linda, Linda Klein, who's been on the show, and the, and the medical nurse made me, of course, still look good and her crew and surgery scenes. So 
Yeah, that part was like riding a bike. The HVAC system controls the air filtration in the hospital. You'll need to close her as soon as possible to prevent infection. I'm not stopping Tova's transplant. She's been waiting months for this. Then find a way to double your speed. Find me a set of hands who's experienced in microvascular anastomosis of the abdomen. Get me Meredith Gray. <laughs> so Addison and, and Meredith have a very complicated history. Um, yes. Where are they now? And, and where? what's the state of their relationship now? Well, I think that you see it, and I can't talk about it too much because it kind of unfolds and it's a big reveal in a way in this episode. But I think that, you know, Addison has always respected her. And I think Meredith has always respected Addison's um, professional skills and where they are. And I think um, it's one of my favorite scenes is the, I mean, you see in the promo, you're like, get me, doc, get me Dr. Greg. Get me Meredith Gray. So we get to work together a little bit in this episode. I mean, and then there's some there's some good personal stuff that comes up too. And I think it's really, um, it will be very surprising to, and very satisfying to fans. And, and But in a very surprising way. Like I, yeah, that's all I can say. Same there's way. moments where they're working together uh -huh. and where they're having some personal time together, so. Okay, so maybe some wounds could get healed or maybe some deeper ones could emerge. Yeah, we don't know. We'll see how time will tell. We'll okay. see Thursday night. Thursday night. <laughs> so is yeah. Addison single? No, she's still she's still married to Jake. Yeah. Okay. So no yeah. romance or oh, well, you never We don't know. I mean what who knows what she's capable of. <laughs> right. but, yeah. don't know. <laughs> how long are you gonna be back for? I mean, is this gonna be like you give us like that little yummy taste and then you leave us again on the floor crumpled up in a ball or are you gonna stick and stay i mean a little bit i know she's like the I, the classic unavailable mother character she's like bye i'm here and then gone i did two episodes and then you know we'll see what you see we'll see what happens yeah could they convince you to stay long term or longer, longish term? Oh, I don't know about that. I've got um, other commitments right now. So I'm, you know, and I kind of am halfway around the world most of the time. So, yeah. yeah. You joined though late in season one. And I wonder at that point in time, did you know, yeah, we got something really special here? Or, I mean, I'm not sure that anybody could have imagined how big of a hit this show would become. I don't think anybody could imagine how big it would have it would be, but I definitely felt like it was special and it was really singular and unique and incredible. And I and I remember because I came in at episode eight, which and they had been shooting for a while, and it was one of those things where they weren't sure what they they kept changing the title. Still, a different table reads. It was like Grey's Anatomy, then it was like Doctors, and it was like, yeah, I don't know. It was just always like this different. I'm like, Grey's Anatomy is great. That's like so clever. Why are you changing the title? I came in, you know, in episode eight, and I was watching these episodes at Crew Lodge. I was like, this is great. This is like a great show. They called me back to come be on the show as a series regular. So, yeah. Well 18 seasons is, is you know, unheard of uh, in Hollywood. And it's, I mean, it's, it's just amazing. And you know, I know you've heard all the speculation about could this be the last one? What will happen? Um, right. Could they go forward? Let's just play for a second. If this is the grand finale, mm -hmm. how would you like to see these characters go out? And could Grace survive without Meredith? I don't know the answers to any of those questions. I wish I could even, I can't even pontificate. It's like, they it's a it's in the minds of like the great minds of the writers i mean honestly i don't know how you keep creating it but it's gray's anatomy so i just don't think that you know it's gonna be you know meredith gray bounces i don't think it's gonna be like and now you, you know but who knows anatomy. <laughs> right <laughs> and, you know creative universe really it's really about yeah anything's possible and that's the beauty of art anything's possible